All right, hey VC, I'm Jamie. Welcome back. We are back with another video. Jumping on this VC thread idea from Chris Profi at Musically Obsessed and show five favorite record labels. And I think it's a great thread. And as he mentioned, it may have been a thread that's been done before, but he showed some great labels. And what I liked about Chris's uh, labels, the ones that he showed in his video, is that a lot of them had just very simple artwork. I mean, you can get into really, you know, specialty record labels, complex, wild design record labels, but I tend to be drawn to the ones that really have very simple artwork, simple but effective artwork. And so when he showed his, I thought, well, there's one record label that comes to mind, a Canadian label, and I thought, well, let's show five Canadian record labels, maybe ones that you don't get to see too, too often. So the one that came to mind first off is the record label for Bruce Coburn, for uh, Murray McLaughlin, and uh, we're talking about True North uh, Records. And I just love the simplicity of this label and just the True North with the arrow pointing north. And just, I think it's just a great, great record label, True North Records. And Bruce Coburn, Murray McLaughlin on that label. Now, a great record label, uh, and it's interesting, sometimes record labels go through changes. They kind of modify the design and change it up a little, sometimes not for the better. Uh, Aquarius, this was uh, April Wine's uh, label. Here's the early uh, Aquarius uh, record label, which is pretty cool. Like, it's it's got kind of a really nice, nice, very interesting design, the Aquarius record label. But then, of course, uh, they did simplify it. Uh, especially when you get record labels uh, from the 60s and 70s and then hitting the 80s, they feel the need to, uh, you know, to simplify it or streamline it. So once we get through to the uh, 70s, 80s, they simplified it uh, like that. Still, still effective, though. Aquarius Records. Okay, another real favorite label. Uh, on this label, you'd find artists like uh, Lee Aaron, uh, the Nylons, and... It is the label Attic Records, uh, Attic Records, and uh, yeah, just a great label. Uh, they also were a label for uh, distributing international artists, uh, such as, on this example, The Electric Terrors uh, with Wayne County. But I always thought that was kind of just effective in terms of Attic, Attic Records, nice design. But even then, they did change that over the years on this uh, Lee Aaron uh, album. And this one, this Lee Aaron album came out in the 80s. Uh, they felt the need to change it. And I don't think quite as effective. They kind of oversimplified it, uh, in my opinion, for Attic uh, Records. I like the original Attic label. And it's interesting for True North. I don't think they've ever changed that uh, label for True North Records over, over the years. It's been the same since releasing records in the you know late 60s, 70s. Uh, a real favorite uh, record label from Canada has got to be uh, Anthem Records. So when you're thinking Rush, uh, this is the label. And they didn't really change this label. I think they changed the, the color font, but they really didn't change the design of uh, Anthem Records over the years. And this is uh, Anthem Records uh, with Boys Brigade on here. And this album uh, produced by uh, Giddy Lee. And just one more, a sort of, a, you know, it's a real 70s sentimental favorite uh, for the album or for the record label, GRT. Uh, which uh, released Lighthouse Records. GRT, GRT was also a big distributor of uh, international artists uh, for Canada. But I just think it's it's a simple label. And when you see that label, GRT, you know you're being you're going to get ready for some great 70s, 70s rock, uh, if you will. The uh, GRT label from Canada. Okay, so there you have five record labels. And uh, certainly to echo what Chris is saying, uh, the record labels, I mean, it's, it's part of the collecting. It's always a fun part uh, of the packaging for sure. And there are some great record labels out there as well. So thanks so much for dropping by and we'll uh, chat again.